music. Hey guys, um, 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 ways. What's you up? don't need money. Money needs you. Um, everything you need will come flooding towards you when you let go of you know, your need to have money or control money. Uh, the love of money is the root of all evil. And um, there's a supernatural being that sits inside that. It's called the ego of man because money has been imprinted, impressed with the image of man, literally. Like that's why they got a head on basically every currency because um, it is man's decision to put the soul, the soul's energy, energetic um, transfer onto something so we can say this has value and there's nothing wrong with money. It's the love of money that's root of all evil. So, and, and Jesus called it mammon. And mammon is, a, is that supernatural being. It's the head of currency, which is the wrong currency. You don't want to be um, chasing under the, uh, after the wrong kind of currency. The highest currency is love and wisdom. Divine love and wisdom is the Lord. It is the Lord's body and his blood. So chase, um, you know, seek first the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom is within you. The kingdom is at hand. Seek first the kingdom and all these other things that the world seeks will come to your feet. Um, that's a promise of God. That's a promise directly from the red letters of Jesus Christ too. So, um, yeah, don't chase money. Let money chase you. And uh, don't prioritize money, the currency of mammon, the currency of mon money over and above the currency of love and wisdom, the, the currency of you and me. Love God. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love your enemies even. This is more valuable. And this is an eternal rich. Uh, these are the eternal riches that no man can break in and enter and um, steal from you and uh, no moth can eat. This is eternal, uh, the eternal high and there is no high like the most high. So the com commandments of Jesus are, are very simple. Love God, love love life, God is life, and, and love your neighbor as yourself and love your enemies. So forgive everyone because uh, you're just as, you're in the same boat. You've made you've made mistakes before, either on purpose or by accident, and everyone's in the same boat. So have grace for people and don't count them uh, short just because they've uh, they've uh, you know on purpose perhaps being very very stubborn or or you know they're just not a nice person. That's temporal. That's a temporal reality. Have grace for them. Um, see them as their best version, even if they can't have faith for that themselves. And you'll be surprised how you start to see them change before your very eyes because you start noticing the positive aspects of them rather than the negative ones. And you may think there's nothing negative about this person. Well, or how about that they, um, how about you do a little bit more work on that because there's plenty of positive aspects. Even if they're doing things negative, it's almost like the vultures in the wilderness that start eating the, the dead carcasses and actually cleaning up around you. So there, there is a function for the, uh, the people group of negativity in, in, in humanity. So they're even doing good without even trying. <laughs> they're cleaning up uh, the, the dead and the carcass and let the dead bury, bury the dead, amen. But um, I just wanted to share that uh, about money. You don't need anything. You know, I'm, I'm living here rent-free. I'm not paying a cent. Um, and uh, God just provides whatever you need, he'll provide. And uh, uh, it's, it's amazing to see his provision. Seek first the kingdom of heaven. All these things will be added to you. God bless, guys. Grace Lionel here for Wise Serpent Ministries. Peace. World peace, that is. All right, guys. Love you. Bye. Music, art, wisdom. I'm Jesus, Grace Lion Hunter. And this is my underground guide to the art of rebirth. Watch my story at wiseserpentunderground.com.